welcome to Movement Not Miracles. I am Anna from Eat, Move, Be Happy. And um, Movement Not Miracles is your bite-sized version, as you will know by now, of ways that you can keep those joints moving and healthier, stretch through some of your muscles, and to stop them stiffening up to help your joints and look after your posture. Um, all of that stiffening up and um, poor posture can come from sitting for long or staying still for long periods of time um, and not being aware of balance and um, what's happening um, with our joints and our body. So um, a little bit more awareness of uh, looking after yourself um, and some, sim some simple ways of doing that. So doing something is better than doing nothing and some um, regular revisits of some of the most, more simple things um, is a really good idea. So today is a bit of an all over body blast. We're gonna start sort of here and work our way down. Um, all of these, just looking, yes, all of these, um, you will be able to do a variation if you are seated. So um, should be accessible to pretty much everybody. Um, focus on what you can do, because um, as I say, doing something is, is better than nothing. So I'm gonna do mine seated just because I've been sitting for, I've uh, been in a meeting this morning, which has been very, very useful um, and tall. So just from a, a start point, it's really easy for us to sort of be in this position. I've talked about this this week. So here I'm sort of like, slumped down my shoulders around it and we just get into the habit of standing with really poor posture so if you stand up tall shoulders back and down and think of standing up out of the floor straight away you can um i reckon you can find a, a couple of inches taller um which would be quite useful if i could be even a couple of inches more taller but hey ho that's another story um so standing or sitting nice and tall, we're just gonna to go to our favorite shoulder rolls to start off with. So up and back and down with those shoulders, squeezing your shoulder blades together on your back as you move those shoulders up and back and down. So for your shoulder mobility, for the shoulder joint to be able to move, the muscles in, the, in your back, your upper back, um, and your shoulders need to enable that to happen. And your shoulder blades, I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see my shoulder blades today, because I haven't got writing on my t-shirt, but your shoulder blades should also move on your back. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together there as I stretch across the front of my chest. And try and get as much movement out of your shoulder blades as you can, which um, creates the movement in your shoulder joint. And you get a nice stretch across the front of your chest, um, which is useful to help keep those muscles nice and stretched to stop this round-shouldered posture happening. If these muscles tighten up, it's really difficult to keep your shoulders back and down. So um, shoulder rolls have a, a, an added, a, du a dual purpose, should we say. So if you can, we're gonna do some rolls. Oh, I just need to move away from the wall. If you can, now introducing the arms. So you get leading with your thumbs going backwards. You get a bigger move now. So we're moving all the way around. And as big a move as you can do. Still squeezing the shoulder blades together and still aiming for that breadth across your collarbones. All the way back around. Okay, a bit, of a, a bit of a tactical waggle. Um, we're now going to take that into a twist. So um, we're going for mobility. So nice and gentle twists. Um, we're not going for a, a, a vigorous twisting around the body, but we are looking for some movement in the spine. So bringing your shoulders forward and then back to the other side. So just aiming for some nice movement in our back, including that upper back. So we avoid the spine. The vertebrae in our spine should move. They are not solid. They don't move lots, 
but they do allow us to bend forwards, bend sideways, reach backwards. And if they stiffen up, it restricts all of that movement, but also they can really ache. And I say that with feeling because it happens. In between my shoulder blades, I can get really achy if I get complacent with my movement. So it's a really good idea to keep your back moving. And we're going to do another back mobility one now. We're going to do bendianas. So if we, I like to widen my, my stride a little bit, I can get a bit, bit more of a side bend then. I've still got my weight evenly distributed. So I can still feel an equal amount of weight in my left and my right side. And I maintain that all the way through. So I'm not leaning over to one side as I bend down. So I'm still nice and stable and balanced on the floor. And I'm just bending, reaching down to start off with, keeping that nice sideways plane. So I'm not bending forwards. We're aiming for movement in the spine, but a sideways movement. So, and each time you bend down, a little bit of a, keep breathing, see if you can go a little bit further. We can be a little bit stiff to start off with, which is why it's useful to do more than one. And it's useful to try things more than once, because the first time we're learning, we're learning, our body is learning, ooh, how tight are my muscles feeling? What does the movement involve? How stiff am I today? And then the more you do, things start to loosen up a little bit. Now we're going to introduce the arm across the top. Again, if you can, even if you have one arm that is not as good as the other, so you might have one side um, that is more in balance than the other, the arm that you can reach up, do. So we're reaching up and over. So this time, if you think of stretching up first, so you get a nice stretch down that side and then stretching over and away. So we're getting a nice stretch down the side of our body as well as the movement through our spine. Now I've said before, you can do these Pretty much wherever, I think shoulder rolls you can, waiting for the kettle to boil. If you are waiting for a meeting to start, if you're on a break in a meeting, you might do them while you're waiting for the queue in the, in, in the supermarket. Maybe we need to be a bit careful of reaching over, you don't want to poke somebody in the eye. Although if we're social distancing, that's probably not going to happen at the moment. Okay, so that feels, that feels a little bit better. Um, moving on to legs now. Now, if you are seated, what we're aiming for is to pick that knee up and just hug the knee in tight. So you can still try this one if you're seated, lifting that leg as high as you can. So we're aiming for, seated or standing, the leg coming up rather than the chest going down. So we want some um, extra movement through that hip joint. Because if you're seated, your leg is like that for long periods of time. So we want to encourage that leg to move up, the hip joint to move a little bit more, and you're likely to feel a bit of a stretch down the back of your leg and into your bum as well. But whilst we're here, we're also going to wiggle our ankles. So if the lifting up of the leg is too much of a challenge for you if you are seated, then focus on ankle movement. Rotating your ankle, your foot one way, and then twizzling it the other way. Exaggerated moves, so we're really thinking of lifting your foot up and then all the way around, so you're pointing your toe and flexing your toe. Movement in your ankles is really important. It's good for balance, general balance. If your ankle joint is stiff, it can defer to your knee joints, um, to your hip joints and into your back because the stiffness has got to go somewhere. Something will compensate for a stiffness in a joint, um, which is why we often get a chain of, of issues if we're stiff in one place. 
um, which makes sense when you think about how our body works, but it's a little bit frustrating. But the other thing about ankles, I'm gonna lift the other leg up whilst I'm talking. Ooh, she says, I just need to concentrate on my balance. The other thing about ankle mobility, apart from being good for balance, is keeping your ankles moving is also good for circulation. And that's important, particularly if you sit for a long period of time and you are not as mobile as you would like to be. So um, it encourages our blood to keep pumping through our legs. So, and we'll go the other way. So we've got ankles and hips involved here. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. A bit of a tactical waggle with our legs. And then um, a bit of a, a chest stretch now. So we are going to clasp your hands behind your back and then shoulders back and down and really squeeze those shoulder blades together. And a reminder that as we do that, we don't want our bottoms to stick out. So we don't want to be in this shape. Your bottom stays tucked under, working through your bum to tilt that pelvis and then really squeeze those shoulder blades together so that you can feel a stretch probably through the front of your shoulders and across your chest. So this is a more of a stretch now rather than the mobility work that we did and you do your shoulder rolls. And keep breathing whilst you hold that stretch. Okay, bit of a tactical waggle. And then the, the reverse of that, or the opposite of that, I should say, um, if you think of clasping your hands and reaching forwards and stretching across your upper back. Let your chin drop to your chest. Okay, and release it. So hopefully, uh, certainly shoulders feel a little better and your hips might feel a little better. Hello bubble lady, I'm assuming that if you're here that means that this live stream is working. I know we've had a bit of a problem with Get Moving and the live stream this morning, so uh, not quite sure what went on. I will check in later. Um, but hopefully this one, this one is working and you, you can see me. So Movement Up Miracles will be back next Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. The sun is still shining, which bodes well for my lambs. Um, who still haven't made an appearance, but I got the dates wrong, so they are due now. So we are still on our watch. Um, so look after yourselves, stay safe, uh, enjoy the fresh air, and um, keep moving. Remember, little and often, and um, I will see you on Tuesday after the weekend.